Hello guys and welcome to yet another review from Sicario. Today we are going to look at a Viking game called Valheim. You probably all heard about this game already, but let's talk a little bit about it on our channel. Valheim is a survival sandbox experience that has been tearing up the Steam sales charts. Since its launch on February 2nd, Valheim has been on top of the bestsellers list and it set an overwhelmingly positive rating with nearly 13,000 reviews. This vast game has tiny, tiny download and looks like a 3D take on old games look like RuneScape. So what is exactly Valheim and why is it taking off so quickly? Let's dive deep into it. Valheim's progression is very similar to Terraria or Starbound in that advent feels organic and natural. Players start in a simple but waste meadow and learn how to hunt animals and build simple shelters. Players learn to punch livestone golems to death and craft a club. From there, players can begin building a starting settlement. Once that's done, it's time to start hunting boars, which drop the materials for the bow, which makes hunting deer easier. There is a clear path of progression, with each step opening up the next advancement. Here is what a session with my usual gang of friends might look like. We want to head out to Black Forest to fight a giant ant, but there is a mountain range in our way. The mountains are freezing, but we spot wolves and we think we can take fur a bundle up. After a few unsuccessful scrubs with wolves, we mark the spot on the map and pledge to come back and get revenge on another day. We go south and travel around the mountains until we come across a massive lake that we can possibly cross on our own. Instead, we settle down and build a wooden dock and a wicking longship. The longship ferries us across the lake and we track down then attack the ant circling around the giant tree with the bows and spears. It fights back by summoning a massive roads and treating us apart with giant vines. The fight is going on well until the ant calls the dozen of goblins from the wood, so we flee in a panic, nearly losing our longship in the process. Eventually, my friends and I feel confident enough in the basics, so we keep on exploring. We find a great elk boss and fight it, which drops the hard antlers. Now I can make that big axe. That means that the more dangerous black forest is worth exploring now, because we can mine an ore within. Once we have that ore, I can start making more sophisticated tools and armor, which in turn open up their own recipes and options for advancement. As we explore, the world opens up outwards, leading the mechanics like building trade roads, establishing a magical portal network and learning how to sail and chart a natural map. Valheim feels like a world worth of exploring and spending time in, especially because I don't have to put tons of time in maintaining the progress I've made. The models are simple, pixelated and polygonal, but they're uplifted by gorgeous shadows and a lightning. It's a balance between modern comforts and good old-fashioned nostalgia. Sure, hunting ants and fighting trolls is great, but sometimes I sit on the raft and watch the water lap against the shore, or the sun filtering through the trees into the meadow. It's cottagecore and deeply cozy, and occasionally brutal storm make the blight and sunny days even more appealing. The game is also mechanically forgiving without any of usual surviving game obstacles, like the expiring food or prohibited refire or expiring costs. There are certain manipulation tools and the building system that leads players to build elaborate structures and spavlering settlements. Building can be fit fiddly, but players can either free place food or snap pieces together, depending on their preferences, which leads to something that is mostly easy and flexible. PvP is the toggle, unless I opt in. I don't have to worry about another player wrecking my house or thinking in eggs in the back while I'm farming. I've only encountered mineral bags during my 20 hours in the game. I can play with 9 friends and it's super simple to connect to another person's server. I can even look up a controller with any problems. There are small feats, but there are also issues that are even AAA games like Fallout 76 struggle with implements, so it's a huge relief to dodge a sort of entire mess. Being honest, this game looks really very well polished, this is why the ratings coming in. It is in sort of early access crafting and survival indie game that actually works. This isn't anything ridiculously flashy or totally new. But the developer Iron Gate has created a solid foundation. All of the mechanics have been done before in games like Ark or the Conan Exiles, but the hard edges and frustrating grinds have been sanded down and smoothed way. 
In a genre crowded with the rage, opaque and downright broken titles, Valheim stands out by simply working well and making sense. Even for an early access game, game performs really very well. In nowadays gaming world, I think games like this can be called a full release. But we still call them early access, this is why the numbers are coming in so highly. Thank you everyone for watching this video and being with me here on this one. Like, comment and I'll see you in the next one.